Hi fellow traders, I hope everybody had a great hump day. We finally had a good day in the market, you know, after a couple of challenging days, a couple of slower days. Um, did very well, can't wait to, to share that with you. Um, but before we get into it, you know, I got to share my Miyagi quote uh, today. You know, this is, this quote came when Daniel was trying to, you know, get Mr. Miyagi to teach him more and he was in a hurry to hurry up and get to you know learn how to to punch and all of this stuff and he says first learn stand then learn fly nature rule Daniel son not mine and that is the rule of nature you know just like we say you've got to crawl before you can walk you got to walk before you can run and you got to run before you can fly. You know, and we can't rush things. We can't try to learn all of this stuff at once. And what happens to a lot of traders is they they try to learn all of this stuff at once. This indicator, that indicator, you know, how to use the MACD, how to use stochastics, how to use Bollinger Bands and trying to put all of this stuff together that doesn't even fit together. But they don't know that because they didn't take time to learn the fundamentals, to understand the foundation, understand what really makes the market move. You know, what actually makes a price of a stock go up. If you don't understand that, these indicators, nothing really makes sense. And the truth is, you can't go to the next level if you haven't mastered the first level. You know, and I've always said, you know, if you can't make an average of fifty dollars a day, how the hell are you gonna get to making five hundred dollars a day? An average. You can't. You've got to be able to do it. If you can't do it small, you're not gonna be able to do it big. You know, so you've got to learn the foundations, you've got to get the basics. And that's what I'm doing this year. Um that's what my I'm sharing with my members, my Roadmap to success. This is where I reverse engineered my path to success. And I'm taking you through it step by step by step. And, sh and sharing with you everything that I did to get here. Uh, and I'm not throwing anything in that I didn't do. You know, this is it. This is this is me as raw and uncut as, as you can get. But if you're not in the community, I'm offering you a special... I want you to come and be one of my Roadmap to Success students. Um, I'm offering you basically a, a quarterly subscription. For the price of a quarterly subscription, you're getting six months all access. So you're putting up three months. I'm giving you three months. All access to the um, Average Joe Trading Education Community. You got access to the live trading and education room. This is where I'm trading live every day. And for me, the chat room is an extension of the classroom. It's the most important component in trading education. Because this, the chat room, is where the fundamentals come to life. It's where you actually, you know, see trading. It's not a, an alert service. You know, I'm not giving trade alerts. I'm teaching you how to trade. I'm teaching you how to find the stocks that are moving that are going to give you the opportunity to trade. You know, so you're not going to depend on me or anybody else to make a living trading. You get access to all of the live classes that we do and the videos of those classes. So you can watch them over and over and over again. But... This is, the, I think, the most valuable part of this is that for these six months, once a month, you get a one-on-one -on -one mentor session with me where we can roll up our sleeves and work on whatever issue you're having and, you know, go through it, come up with a plan, and then the next month, we follow up with the next meeting. You know, whatever we need to work on, um, and, and through the month, I'm, I'm only an email away. You guys that's email me, you know I'm going to email you back if I get it. If I don't, 
That means somehow your email ended up in spam or I didn't get it. Because I make it a point to, to answer everybody back. But this is not a recurring subscription. So when you sign up, you get six months. And you, you get to go through this whole roadmap series. All the live classes. Now yeah, you'll be able to add another six months at the end of this if you want to. But... You know, it's just not going to pop up automatically. So this is an offer for you guys. The people that are already in the community, you guys are already getting this roadmap. Um, so, you know, those of you that want to get it, you know, come in. And I'm doing everything I can to help you guys join me in that 10 percenters club. I want you to come in and be one of those in the number. And it's probably closer to 6% now of all, all traders that make it. But I want you guys to join me in that club. And not only join me, I want you to be able to stay. So check out this offer. Just go to my website, AverageJoeTrader.com. Click on this picture you see, Roadmap to Success. And... It'll take you right to where you need to go. All right, so today we had a one really nice opening range breakout trade. Unfortunately, I didn't get it because I was looking at another trade that I thought was going to give me a home run. Well, it would have if I had been able to trade it. But, you know, we'll talk about that one here in a minute. But this was excellent. We had to run up. And we kind of traded sideways here. And then, you know, this was breaking out the 52-week highs. And this looked really, really strong. And we had this huge candle at the open. But it wasn't over it wasn't overbought yet. Even though we had this strong move, it still showed some, you know, some good potential. And a lot of members got it. You know, a lot of members in the community got it. And that's what I want to see happen. I don't want to see everybody trying to trade what I'm trading. You look at our watch list. You choose the stock that fits your eye. And this was an excellent trade. So really proud of you guys that, that took this in chat. But, you know, you're not. That's why we build a watch list. Some are going to work. Some are not going to work. You know, it's just a matter of us being in the right stock. And if we're not being able to flip over and catch the one that is the right stock. You know, but unfortunately for me, I was a little bit slow uh, flipping over. I was, you know, crying over spilt milk and it cost me <laughs> this entry. Um, so the spilt milk I was crying over was well i'll go to this first i did trade this later on in the day but here was the move here here was the open and you know we could you really couldn't get in this it, it was just this was a um it was on ssr so it was really difficult to try to get in and you couldn't chase it down so this thing bounced and you know still didn't really go over a um you know didn't really give us an opening range breakout in time because this was after 10 o'clock so i did go up and we kind of rejected and it kept you know selling the rest of the day i did try to catch the bounce and you know took some profit along the way and this turned out to be a pretty decent trade um, but this is the one that I got caught up watching at the open and missed the, you know, the best trade of the day. Um, but the first trade I took was, you know, here I was looking for the bounce where, you know, we ran up, we pulled through the 9, the VWAP, the 20, pulled back. I was looking for the bounce off of this. And, you know, I waited for this candle to, to print, waited to get, you know, this candle to make a higher high. Once it did, I got in. We got, you know, to move up. 
I was really looking for it to hit the 50 day, the 50 period up here. Um, but it when it started struggling, I went ahead and took some off, and we ended up pulling back, stopping me back out at break even. And when we bounced here, and we were making slightly higher low, we didn't quite get to the VWAP, so I went ahead and jumped in. You know, I was at lunch anyway, so I was only watching this. This is all I had on my laptop. And, you know, made the move up to the 50 finally, was able to take profit there, and just could not get it to bounce off of this. The 50 just really has been strong lately. It's really stuffed a lot of moves that I've seen over the last couple of weeks. But we couldn't get over it, and I ended up, you know, taking it off here at break even. And, you know, ended up having a pretty decent morning. You know, even with um, these smaller trades, you know, we did make some money. Now, when you look back at this, you know, all of this has happened in pre-market, and we're not really in pre-market. So a lot of these stocks you see make these huge moves pre-market, and if we're not trading pre-market, we can't make it. Now, during the summer, when I'm home, I don't have to take my son to school. And I can be here pre-market. I look to trade these. But during the school year, when I have to, you know, make that run in the morning, I don't even worry about pre-market. Yeah, it gets frustrating sometimes when all of the big moves happen then. And, you know, we get these small deals. You know, that's just the name of the game. All right, so our big trade came on earnings. Uh, another one of our patented earnings plays. Um, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the ticker to you until after the market closed, but it was enough time for you to catch this if you wanted to trade it. But again, what really made me proud was that several of you guys already had this on watch, already um, saw the setup, and you were locked in and ready to go. And that's what makes teachers proud. When I see people that are learning from me that are doing things without me even having to be there. You know, so it was awesome that you guys actually chose the same stock and were already locked and loaded, you know, when I shared with you what my my plan was. So this was a really nice deal. You know, we did have this crazy candle here before um, it was announced. And sometimes you see this, but the earnings hadn't even been announced yet. It was just... I guess people getting ahead of the game or whatever. And, you know, once it announced, we, we got the run up that we were looking for. I had an order here, but it didn't hit. Uh, for some reason, it never did hit. It hit this one, but it didn't hit this one. And, you know, we pulled back and I was sitting here waiting and had to take it off because we had to start class and I couldn't trade and do the class at the same time. I wasn't going to even try it. Um, after market is really rough because you can't set a stop and everything has to be a limit order. So I've got to be ready to react and trying to teach the class and then do this wasn't going to work. So you guys saw I had to just get out of this and you see it did run up. Um, didn't quite get to 33, but, you know, it did push up another 50, 60 cents. But I am glad it didn't do that. Because on this move here, we cleared, uh, you know, just around 1200 bucks on this move right here. This, for the day, you know, I had these two good trades. Wix was a solid trade. $353. You know, CVS, I had two little trades. I mean, that's not bad. $127.82. Not bad. When you when you look at this this amount, 16, 14, um, 24. 
and you add it to the 3456.64 that we've already made this month, that's pretty doggone close. Well, you got to subtract yesterday. Yesterday was minus 114. So when you do that, that put me about $30 less or $30 short of $10,000. There's no way you want to, I mean, you can if you want to, but get with your tax professional and let them explain to you why if you have an overseas account, you never want to have, you never want it to hit $10,000 throughout the year. Um, they'll explain it to you. In a couple of weeks, I can legally explain it to you because I'll be licensed. But right now, I'm not. I can't legally explain it to you. But let them know. So I'm going to be wiring out first thing in the morning. And, you know, because I'm not going to let that happen. That happened to me the first year. And, you know, I ended up having to pay a big penalty for not doing what I was supposed to do. So make sure you get with your tax professional if you're going to have over $10,000 in any offshore bank account, brokerage account, anything like that. Get with them and let them tell you what the law is and walk you through it. All right, so that's going to do it for me today. Um, you know, really, really good day. I mean, this was probably the best day that I've had in a long time, you know, trading in a small account. And, you know, I'm going to keep focusing on it. The more I focus on it, the better I do. You know, if I don't have a good all day hold that I can, that I'm seeing, you know, around 8, 8 o'clock, 8.30 or so before I start my morning um, routine, then I'm not trading in it. You know, I'm going to make sure that I stick with this. Um, I'm not swing trading right now because I'm waiting for the market to, I'm waiting to see what it's going to do. You know, like I said, Sunday, I'm waiting for it to hit this 280 level to see what the market's going to do. And then I'll get back active on um, some swings in, in our main swing account. But, you know, right now we're just going to focus on this, focus on teaching you guys what it takes to be consistent in this industry. All right. So that's going to do it for me. Uh, we'll talk to you guys first thing in the morning. You guys be safe and have a great night.